So yeah, to just tell me about the, the situation at the moment and, and what, what you've heard about what's going on. I was contacted by the Assistant General Secretary of the RMT early this morning, Darren Proctor, who informed me that there was a plan, as far as his members understood it, to replace them with foreign cheap labour. Now I've arrived at King George Dock, as I've pulled onto the port, I can see two busloads of uh, what seems to be crew members in Ivy's jackets and I'm told by dockers who have contacted me on my mobile phone uh, to say that they are uh, the new crew uh, which p intend to replace British ratings with. Now the tragedy is this, we don't know uh, what training these crew members have had so there's a safety aspect as well my view is that p and ferries are intending to replace, and this is what the union are telling me, atten uh, they're intending to replace British seafarers, both officers, captains, engineers, and uh, ratings uh, with cheaper labour. Now, that would be a tragedy. Uh, there were some protections previously under EU regulations in a situation like this. Domestic legislation, domestic employment laws don't apply because these are international shipping routes. But there were some EU regulations which would have protected those seafarers. Uh, regrettably, as I understand it, the government have not got their act together yet to re-implement those regulations in a domestic setting to protect British workers. So we've got foreign crew sat on the uh, dock ready to replace. I'm told by RMT members who are on board the vessel now, I'm just about to board the ship uh, that they're not going to leave that vessel today. They're going to be sitting in on the Pride of Hull. They're going to raise the gangway and they're not going to let any new crew members on to effectively take their jobs from them.